My name is Levi Stone, I'm a 3D artist and producer, and today I want to talk to you about MASH. MASH is an extremely versatile toolkit in Maya that will allow you to enhance your modeling workflows and create some really cool effects. Some of the ways I've used MASH in the past include simulating the gumballs in a gumball machine, creating the ball chains on my recent Tamagotchi art test, and much, much more. Okay, so here's how you use it inside of Maya. So I've imported some assets I had from a previous project. I'm going to go up to Curves right here. You can just do it on your shelf if you'd want, or you can go to Create and then go down to Curve Tools and select one here. See, I'm going to draw a little curve here. Now that we have our curve and our mesh in the scene, I'm going to select the mesh, go to the mesh shelf, and then go to create mesh network. Don't get overwhelmed by the mesh attribute editor. There's a ton of options here. You can see audio curve, color delay, the list goes on and on and on. We're just going to be focusing on curve for this video. Okay, so go ahead and click on curve. It's going to pop up this little box that says add curve node. You're going to click on that. So now you're going to be on this screen right here. And all you have to do is go over to your outliner. And this is important. Make sure you middle click and drag. Don't click and drag. Middle click and drag over to input curves and let go. Now, when you do that, a couple things might happen. For for me in this scenario, my model didn't actually snap to the line the way that I wanted to. And you're going to see right here, distance X is set to 20. You're just going to drag that all the way down. And now you can see your mesh is on the line. So there are a ton of things that you can do with this. You can increase the number of points. You can increase what kind of distribution it is, whether it's a spherical distribution or a linear distribution, radial, grid, volume. Right now I'm going to stick to linear. I've increased the number of points to 24. We'll come back to the distribute shelf here in a second, but for now I'm going to go to the mesh one curve. And here you can see a bunch of different settings you can adjust for your mash network. I'm going to raise the steps. If it goes over, it'll start looping. So right underneath step, there's something called animation speed. If you go down to your timeline and scrub through that, you can see that your mesh is going to move along whatever curve you've assigned it to. So scrolling down on the curve shelf, you can see strength. Now, if we affect this strength and drag it down, essentially what this is doing is judging how far your mesh will travel along this curve. So if I set it to 0.1, it's not going to go very far at all. If I set it to 1.0, it'll follow the entire curve. So right underneath strength, you can adjust your randomness and then step strength will control how often your model travels along along the curve. Now let's actually head back to the distribute shelf. Now that we've got our curve working the way that we want, these distribute settings will make a little bit more sense. The great thing about this is you can affect it however you want and then just hit stop or go at a certain point on your timeline and you can save this just as a mesh. And remember guys, this is a really, really powerful tool if for instance you wanted to make like a chain of any kind. And guys, remember multiple tools can use the same curve in Maya. So now I'm actually going to select this curve, go over to poly modeling and hit sweet mesh. I've gone over sweet mesh in a previous video, so please check that out if you want more information. But yeah, you can adjust the scale profile here and then just like that you've got a ball chain that you can put on any keychain or whatever else you want. MASH helps me streamline a lot of the modeling for certain projects and as you can tell by looking at it there is so much more that I didn't even begin to cover today. Like I said my name is Levi Stone and you can find my asset stores at Levi Stone underscore dev on fab cg trader anywhere that you buy your digital assets. Thank you for watching if you like the tip you can leave me one by liking the video following and simply never forgetting.